So I've got a word for you today. I'm not even gonna introduce myself. And that is to stop waiting. Stop waiting and just do it. And you know exactly what I mean. I have talked to way too many talented people who the universe is just shooting signs at and they're hearing the universe. They're hearing, in my mind, they're hearing God. That's who I believe in. But not everybody does, but I am a Christian, just so you know. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> but if multiple people are telling you that you should do something, something positive, not drugs or anything, okay? But if multiple people are coming up to you and saying, wow, you're really good at this. You should do this multiple people and you are really good at whatever this or that is and you know you are and you're thinking to yourself wow they're right well nah, I'll wait stop waiting <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about me for example with voiceover acting something I've been paid to do so many times in the past year sitting in front of a mic and telling stories what even something I had never imagined myself doing. I just wanna be an actor, right? But multiple people kept telling me, you should do voiceover work. Shannon, wow, you have such a great voice. Your voice would be perfect for voiceover work. Multiple people, people that didn't even know that I do acting. And I would say, huh, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Someday I'll think about it. And you know what the final straw was? It's when I was at a Sam's Club selling $200 steam mops. Pretty much my low point. I really didn't want to do that. I was very good at it though, weirdly enough. But I got myself out of that very fast. The positive thing about that job though, was every day I would say my spiel about steam mops you should get this steam mop because, and I'd roll around the steam mop like I actually knew what I was doing. And every single show that I did, at least one person would say, young lady, you have a really nice voice. You should be on TV or you should be on the radio. Your voice is so clear and concise and conversational and warm. You should be a voiceover actor. You should think about doing news or radio or this and that. And that was finally the moment that I said, you know what? Maybe that's why I'm at the Sam's Club selling steam mops. Maybe it's because I can finally grasp what I believe God is telling me through all of these people. I'm supposed to try voiceover acting. I love TV and film, but maybe I should try this. And so I finally took it seriously. And guys, everything fell into place so incredibly fast. I decided to invest in voiceover acting, to decide to take classes, and bam, 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 bam. Booked my first job while I was still taking classes. Right after my reels were completed, I got signed by How In for voiceover work, just like that. I've booked so many voiceover jobs, it's crazy. And I would have never, ever done it. <laughs> If I didn't get all of those signs, but I could have started a year ago. Well, I did start a year ago. I could have started two years ago, three years ago. People have constantly been telling me this, but I was just holding it off. Why, why are you waiting? Have people told you you would be a great YouTuber over and over again, but you're thinking, oh, I don't have the proper lighting. Like Casey Neistat says, all you need is a camera and a good idea. What are you waiting for? People tell you, you dress so well. People tell you, you should be a model. People say, wow, you're a great writer. You should start a blog. And you're so afraid of people not liking you or you're trying to be a perfectionist. You just want it to be perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be authentically you. So I encourage you, whatever it is, you know what it is that you're supposed to do, that you keep holding off, stop waiting, stop being afraid, and do it right now. Right now. Date that person you wanna date, you know? There's even that. Oh, I don't wanna do it right now, I'm not ready to date. I feel like I don't have enough money to date. 
maybe that person will like your personality. Maybe you can make some sandwiches and go to the park. I'm serious. <laughs> so stop waiting and do it right now. If you like this video, please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, comment. I want to know what people have told you you should do. I want to know that in the comments. Please let me know. Say, you know, so many people told me that I should start my own clothing line because I sew all the time, but I just, I don't know. I want to know. Thank you for watching and make sure you tune in next week Thursday.